The number of ways in which the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 can be inserted in an empty binary search tree such that the resulting tree has height 6 is dash. Note height of tree with single node is 0. Now this is a question coming from data structures topic regarding binary search trees. Here they are asking if you are inserting the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 into a binary search tree, how many tree we can form which will have a height of 6. Now if you are adding 7 numbers and forming a tree of height 6, it will mean that that tree will be a chain. A chain meaning none of the nodes will be having 2 children simultaneously. Each node will be having exactly 1 child only. So I will show you examples of chain. So if you are adding 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, if I am adding like this 1, then 2, then 3, etc. up to 7, that is one chain. Another example is if I add 7 first, then 1, after that 2, 3, etc. So in all of these, each node has exactly one child only. So these are examples of chains here. So they are asking how many will be there such that the height is 6. Now to solve this for n equal to 7, n equal to 7 meaning there are 7 numbers here. To solve this for n equal to 7, first I will try to solve this for smaller n values and then I will try to find out patterns in trying to solve for larger numbers. Okay. So first we will try to solve for n equal to 2 that meaning we are adding numbers 1 and 2 only. Okay. So while we are adding numbers 1 and 2 there is only two ways possible that is 1 we add and after that we add 2 or we add 2 after that we are add 1. Both of these have height of 1 only. It, these are chains. So for n equal to 2 the answer is 2 clearly. Now for n equal to 3 coming here I can add 1, 2, 3 or 1, 3 and then 2 or 3, 2, 1 or then 3, 1 and 2. These are the only four possibilities for n equal to 3. If I am adding 2 first, okay, initially if I am adding 2, then 1 will come to the left side and 3 will come to the right side. So that won't be forming a chain. 2 has, the node 2 will be having 2 children and not 1 child. So the height will be 1 only here, height won't be 4 like in these 3 examples, like in these 4 examples. So for n equal to 3, the answer will be 2 only. Answer will be 4 only, okay. So one pattern that we found out is that if you are adding numbers from 1 to n, the first number has to be either 1 or n only. If you are adding some numbers in between, then for that number we will have numbers to the left side as well as right side. So that is not a valid addition. I will explain clearly here. For n equal to 4, let us say, I can start with either 1, the root node should be 1 or 4. If the root node is 3, imagine there will be 1 and 2 coming to the left side of 3 and 4 will come to the right side of 3. Similarly, if the root node I am adding as 2, if I am adding 2 initially, then 1 will come to the left side of 2 and 3 and 4 will come to the right side of 2. So if I am adding 1, 2, 3, 4, if I am adding 2 or in, while adding 1, 2, 3, 4, if I am adding 2 or 3 as the first element, then that won't form a chain. It will be ha having, the root node itself will be having 2 children. So while adding numbers 1 to 4, I can either add 1 or 4 only as the root node okay now after adding 1 as a root node I can add 2 3 and 4 okay and the number of ways of adding 2 3 and 4 will be like solving the same same problem for a tree with three nodes that's what we did here exactly n equal to 3 right so if I'm adding 1 I can add 2 or 2, 3 and 4 in 4 ways because for n equal to 3, a tree having size 3, I can add it in 4 ways. See that's what I have shown here. If I am adding 4 initially, then I can add 1, 2 and 3 in this way, this way, this way or this way. These 4 ways are exactly what we got here. 1, 2 and 3 this way, 1, 3, 2 that is given here, 1, 3, 2, 3, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. Similarly, the same thing I can add, do it by adding 1 itself. I add 1 as a root node and then I add the rest of the 3 nodes in one of these 4 patterns. Similarly, for n equal to 3 also, if you take a look, I added 1 first and then I added 2 and 3 in the same fashion as I did for n equal to 2. Or I added 3 first and then I added 1 and 2 in the same fashion as I did for n equal to 2. Similarly, if I am solving for n equal to 5, if n equal to 5, first I can add 1 and then I can add 4 nodes in either one of these patterns. That is 8 ways or I could have added 5 initially and then I could have added 
one two three four in any of these eight ways so for one also we'll have eight ways for five also we'll have eight ways so for n equal to five the answer will be 16. so what we have got here is that we have found the recurrence relation for solving this problem if a of n is the number of ways in which we can solve for a tree having n nodes then the value of a of n will be equal to the value of a of n minus 1 into 2 that's what we did just here and we found out so for n equal to 2 the value will be 2 which we did and we found out for n equal to 3 the value will be 2 times of this that will be equal to 4 and for n equal to 4 the value will be 2 times of 4 that is 8 4 and 8 as you can verify I have drawn the trees here as well similarly for n equal to 5 the value will be 2 times of 8 that is 16 for n equal to 6 it will be 32 and for n equal to 7 it will be 2 times of 32 that is 64 so for our question the answer is 64